in two fights time, we're going to have a title fight. So when I did the little experimentation where I pointed around and you had to get your hands up in the air, I want you to run through that again, but when the fighters come out. So when I bring out the blue corner, as she walks past you, I want you to put your hands up and as she walks around, give her a nice cheer. This is just a practice run, but let's make the girls appreciate it. So here's the blue corner, Ellie Sorensen. And now we have Ellie Sorensen, the platinum punisher coming out. Born in Brisbane, living on the sunny coast, training out of Ignite Martial Arts under Ryan Dunstan. What can you tell us about Oren? Ellie is an absolute shield maiden of a warrior. Just listen to this music Here as we go. it comes Raise those hands. focused on her only, only option, which is to fight. So she's raced the cage twice before. One, one win, one loss. Looking to make another win in that entry in that point. And a lot of people go, oh, it's lost, but it's the experience you gauge from it and how you come back from it. You can see that Jamie eating them, giving the last final hug, prepping everyone in the, in the corner. It's so nerve wracking cornering your teammates. Oh, it definitely is. It definitely is. So at this stage, four strikes on a white belt. She look, what she's looking to improve for the last fight is training, so she, things are always Alrighty, changing. Team always Ellie, where you are? As a person. So making sure her skill set is a lot sharper. Certainly looking focused right now. Here we go, bring in the red corner, Alice Jackson. And here we have Alice Jackson walk, making the walk out as well. Living in Ipswich, training out of Kadoo Martial Arts under Shannon Landy. Now, if you haven't seen Kadoo fighters fight before, gosh, they come in well-rounded, very well coached, and put on a great showing. Just look at Jackson Weir White as a previous, as another fighter from Kadoo. You know what to expect here. So Alice is a purple belt in jiu-jitsu and her ambition is to inspire more females to compete in martial arts and MMA. What do you know about her, mate? I don't know too much about Alice, but I do know that she is very, very been focused on her fight camp here on the conditioning and striking aspect to help round out that purple belt that she has. She's, she predicts that she's going to finish this stop in the second round. And her favorite mission, top and bottom, is armbar. So we need Ellie will be having very, very careful and not leaving any uh, lazy elbows out. Yes, that is very true. Ellie was playing a little bit of a uh, cat and mouse in terms of uh, letting her know what her favorite submission was. She said, "You'll have to find out. Wait and see." See what happens here. Here to see Alice. Fight number nine, we have a lightweight bout. Introducing in the blue corner, fighting out of Ignite, weighing in at 70.3 kilograms, it's Ellie, the Platinum Punisher, Sanson. Standing across from her in the red corner, training out of Kadu Martial Arts, Weighing in at 69.3 kilograms, Alice Jackson! Show the ladies some love, let the leather fly! Here we go, so first touch. All right. Coming out early. Alice has thrown a lot 
Looks like Ellie here is throwing out these strikes here to try and keep her off. She's very wary of the purple belt ability of Alice here. And Alice is using those strikes to close the distance. Yeah. And Ali is not having any of it, no. trying to make sure she works for it. One thing about Ellie is she is always ready to smack someone in the face. And she is going hard out with making sure that no takedowns can come from this. Ellie was doing a good job before keeping her left forearm under the chin of Alice, just using that frame to keep her away. Good There's a little bit of craziness of Alice. <laughs> a little bit of craziness in the eyes of Alice there. Yes. She's looking for the kill. Very nice one-two there from Ellie. Oh, another one-two. Beautiful work. And they're doing a good job. Oh, almost oh, very turned. Very nice turnover. Yes. Wore the cage to the face as, as a result, but doing a good job. Nice little left hook there from Alice. Yes, yeah, very true. Very good step forward there with Ellie as well with the one-two. Oh, nice oblique kick right there. Good exchange coming from the girls. Oh, nice leg kick from Ellie there as well. Oh, very nice. few strikes there from Ellie. You did a great job. And you hear uh, Alice's corner yelling out, keep him straight. So they're not happy with those circular punches. They want some more straight ones. Yes, they do. Nice little duck under there from Alice to step in to push her against that cage. Good head placement. And nice way oh, of using that knee to get rid of that off hand. The cage there, though. Another nice oblique there from Ellie. Ellie's using, uh, Ellie's having a very, very good, smart shot selection when she's throwing her punches. Yes, she is. And what's good about Ellie right now as well, she does not look like she's overworking or anything like that. She is going at a very nice pace. Yeah. Very good oblique kicks here and kicks. Very nice right out hand there. Alice is embracing the chaos. I'm going to make it easy for myself and go Jackson and Sorensen because uh, Ellie and Alice is getting a little bit hard <laughs> to mix up. So Jackson's doing a really, really good job in terms of pushing her up against the cage. But Ali, sorry, Sorensen is also doing very well in keeping that underhook to stop her from dropping down. She's also nullified the head placement as well. Nice little hook there on the way out from Jackson. Oh, beautiful little slug fest by the girls. Just, just a little phone box dance for the last few seconds of round one. It seemed like that Alice in that first round was a little bit more active than Ellie was in her movements and her attacks. Yeah, Jackson just wasn't respecting. Jackson wasn't respecting the um, the power of Sorensen, so that's one of the reasons why she's walking through them. Yeah, definitely struck me as the sort of fight from Ellie there where she is just pacing, she is just building up throughout the fight. So it'll be very interesting to see how she kind of comes out into round two. Yeah, and she was able to neutralize the takedown um, threat by Jackson as well. So really, really good on that. Looking forward to what changes they bring into the second round. I think we're going to see Ellie open up a little bit more in this round here. Now I feel like this is the round that was going to be more shooting on Alice. Very nice leg kick. Oh, very nice hard hit there. Oh, Ellie's coming out hard here with strikes now. Yeah, while well, Jackson was looking for the takedowns, Sorensen was making sure that she paid for it with any strikes coming in. Yes. Not giving her anything easy. Oh, another beautiful front kick here. Good head movement there from Alice to dodge those punches and push Ellie up against his cage. And this, this is the difference you can see. So, obviously, in the corner from Ignite, Sorensen was told to throw some knees in that clinch because you can see the hips are not sucked in together. Yes. There's some space there. I would like to see a little bit more urgency from Ellie here, though, to get off the cage. Because at the moment here, Alice is winning this exchange because Ellie hasn't actually tried to get off the cage. Yeah, she's throwing in more strikes, which gives the volume piece that may not be doing a lot of uh, visible damage, but they do add up. 
and you'll see the hip uh, separation there, and oh, that's where Ali nice. was using an opportunity to throw that knee out the bread basket. Another nice leg kick there. Looked like Ali was looking for the uppercut there, pulled it, now she's got the cage control. I would like to see Ellie here try and get double underhooks and get off this cage. Yeah. Really good job there on trying to get, get rid of the uh, hand placement as well, utilising the knee to do so. It can open up your far leg though. Yes. I think Ellie needs to... Oh, beautiful knee there by Ellie though. I do think Ellie just needs to push off this cage and start working her striking more. They're certainly giving it all. Yes, they are. They're even fighting for head position, which is really, really good to see. So, Ellie Sorensen doing a really good job trying to take away Alice Jackson's uh, head uh, placement. Oh, another but beautiful knee at the middle there by both ladies. Oh, few good strikes there by. Uh, oh, oh, knee strike straight the middle knee. there. Ellie looked a little stunned then on what wasn't sure where to go. Yes, from our angle, we couldn't really tell what was going on. Responded to the pressure with a nice knee right up the middle. And this, the reason this is happening is Alice is doing a great job keeping her hips flush to the cage. Strong head, strong head. Yes, good girl. Here we go, the last 20 seconds. Are we starting to see the consequences of fatigue here from Ellie? Having that pressure up against the cage has got to be weighing in on it. it. It all adds up, mate. It all sucks down the energy bar. It's like having Street Fighter and you see that energy bar going down. Get into a point where you can finish them. Good graphic explanation. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did mix Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat into one sentence, but uh, I'm also showing my age. <laughs> Maybe grow, grow Strong 7, we can have the little bar up there from the graphics guys. Stay tuned at home. Really good work there. Uh, I saw a lot of urgency coming from Alice Jackson, just in terms of those strikes. Ellie Sorensen came back in the end and then being able to realize that she needed to do something, started listening to a corner. Makes a huge difference being in your corner when uh, those exchanges are happening. From your experience, mate, how much do you listen to your corners? Uh, I'm, I, I like to listen to my corners a lot. I love to have a good open dialogue with my coaches in the corner. However, I will say it is very, very difficult coming in between rounds and actually having that dialogue between uh, coach and fighter. As you're in a fight itself, your mind is going through a lot, as well as exhaustion and everything. Here we go. Ellie oh. comes out firing. Ellie just gave a huge oh. right hand. And Alice Dude. returns. Multiple. Beautiful knee there by Alice now. Don't know what Ryan said there in the intermission, but he's put a fire in Ellie's belly by the looks, and Alice the same. Very competitive third round. Oh. They're putting everything in their third round now. Yes, they did they not are. want this to go to the judges. Well, beautiful front kick and a beautiful left hook. But that, was, that landed right on the button. Oh, you're right. Leg kick right there. Another one. Oh, oh, right, right, right there, Ellie took. This is just a slugfest going on, and it is beautiful to watch, ladies and gentlemen. Another right hand landed by Ellie. Ellie, Ellie oh, Sorens has landed. a good base. She's just picking her shots at will. Oh. Wow. Push her up against the cage here. Ellie needs to fight off this cage and start. Oh, beautiful knee right there. This is MMA Christmas. We've all been good because this is an absolute present. <laughs> <laughs> nice knee there by Ellie. Great work here. He's gone, putting, putting all the energy into this one. Let's go. They got one minute to go. One minute left of this one. If and you're in Ellie's corner, Aaron, what would you want her to be doing right now? I'd be wanting her to get these underhooks in and trying to get off this cage immediately. She's only got 
about 50 seconds here to actually unleash in this round. They were both landing, but for most of this round now, Alice has been in control by pushing her up against the fence. Yeah. Alice is doing a good job by getting that overhook, which is stopping, which is stopping Alice from actually uh, being able to get her takedown. Yeah. They are just 30 seconds. Ellie off the cage. They're just swinging at each other right now. Doesn't matter what arm they have. Oh, double anything. jab there, triple jab. Oh, coming oh, out. Oh, was throwing. These girls are putting it all in. New shots. We've got 15 seconds here. And we have here. Strikes coming out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and here we come, a fiery finish! Oh, what a battle! Finishing off very strong there. Those girls had an absolute war! Oh yeah! That Putting very, everything very in it! That's what you want. Both girls Great work! Proud. If you're at home right now, don't be afraid to get off the couch. It's not embarrassing, it's fine to be excited. Groshron seeks delivering the goods. Fight number nine, Alice Jackson versus Ali Sorensen. What a war that one was. I love the fact that this judge's problem to score out, when I find out who won this fight, but we were certainly loving that one. So we leave it to the judges to make it official and our MC Tim will be calling out the winner shortly. <laughs> and here we go with the official decision. Ladies, it's gone the entire distance, gone to the judges' scorecard. We do have a unanimous decision, and we're moving over to the red corner, Kadu Martial Arts, Alice Jackson. Beautiful war there from both ladies. Alice, the people want to hear from you. Congratulations on your win. What a war. Talk us through it from round one to right now. Give us, give us a run through. Um, I'd like to start by saying sorry, Mum, for fighting. I know it's not a lady thing to do, but I did it. Um, I didn't listen to my coaches too well, <laughs> but we got it done. And uh, Ella is a tough opponent. Fuck her right hands. Woo! I think we all saw it. Everyone, I could see them just wriggling on their seats. That was an absolute thrill. Run us through who you want to thank for the fight, who got you here, give it it all. Uh, I'd like to thank my corner boys, so Jackson for putting up with me in the morning, the main coach here, Shannon and James doing jiu-jitsu, and then my family and their support has been amazing. Shout out to my partner who has helped me cut the weight and done all of that, so it's great. Green, okay, what's going to be next for you on your MMA journey then? Yeah, let's go again, I'm keen. Hell yeah, well thank you for the show, enjoy the rest of your night. Brilliant.